hi welcome to github tutorials and uh, in this tutorials uh, video you will learn how to clone github repository to the local machine okay so what are the repository we have uh, we are going to create in uh, github uh, version controller that could be clone into means uh, you need to download that uh, repository to your local machine so that uh, what are the projects you have created you are going to create it in that repository is going to commit into github version controller right so till now what you have learned this one is done what is uh, github and how to install github in uh, windows okay windows are so what we have discussed windows are uh, using browser version okay, and how to install uh, git bash in windows this is also done previously i have created so in, let me check this clone web how to clone github repository in local so just open this uh, i have uh, login into my github uh, this one i have login into github account this page you will see Okay, just click on a new repository. I have already created these two. So, but uh, I will uh, explain how to create the new repository. So, let me explain. Uh, okay. This could be development or anything you can provide. Okay. Develop uh, QA automations or anything you can provide whether it could be java whether it could be anything you can do but repository should be one name only okay so that everything will be created under this okay okay so let me create a unique name okay, okay my development okay so this is the description you want to write okay anyone can see the repository you choose who can commit you choose who can see and commit to the repository see you can select as a public and private if i select a private it will show you please update my account so we require only open source right that's why and anyone can see this repository you choose who can commit okay so initialize this repository with readme this is a simple text format okay it will automatically automatically it will add here nothing will be there this will let you immediately clone this uh, repository to your computer skip this step if you are important and existing importing and existing repository so i'm not importing right just create repository it will create one repository and you will get options like see my development master branch is a master automatically it will create you want to create my branch you can create so initial commit it is showing as a readme this is a comment i have uh, initial commit it will automatically take so my development so we are going to create new files upload files find files so let me clone right we need to clone just if you click on this download sorry drop down you will see here one url right just uh, copy this url i have created just paste here so it will save and save under my development and git okay let me create one folder i have created git repository as a one folder in my this path okay just right click and go to git bash here git repository okay i need to use git clone just copy this here url sorry this one just paste it here See everything is cloned, connected to the done, right? Just go to here. See it has given. See my development. It will give you Git. So under this, you need to create the projects. Okay. Next time, what are the changes you are committing here? Just go to here, Git bash here. Just go, you have to go to this folder. So everything is committed, right? let me cd let me my development okay now it is showing as a master here showing as a master right 
So we can now git initialize, reinitializing existing git repository in this path. Now it is showing us master. So you order the master details coming. You have to compulsory use create this create the projects under this path only. Then only you can commit or you can roll back. You can do any changes. Let me check for git status. Ah no, branch master. Your branch is up to date with origin master. Nothing to comment. Working di directory is clean. So like this it will come. Okay. Just you have to use git bash. So like this you have to use git bash. Let me maximize. Okay. Yeah. This one is done. You have uh, created uh, means uh, this uh, repository you have imported, right? Let me refresh. I think here you will not see anything. So one branch it is showing one branch. So master updated minute ago by Raji Kuchana. It is showing as default. Change default branch. So no need of changing any default branch. Let's go to my development. So initial commit everything is showing. Okay. Right. In uh, next lesson, we will see how to create the projects under this repository. Okay, under this repository, how to create the projects. Okay. So thank you, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my videos and please provide your valuable comments on these videos. Okay. Thank you, thank you for watching my video.